Hello there buddy. So you want to make your slash command bot real good and but you don't want to do much work? Well here we are with discord slash command handler and you can use this package real quick. Well first of all just set up a simple folder in which you have a .n file with this token and then you just have to install uh, three packages dot n and then discord js of course for making the bot and then our package called discord slash command handler after installing these three things you just have to open your source source folder i mean like you can create it by clicking on this button and then you can make this commands folder and events folder and for now let's just open our index.js and do the things real quick because client is equals to new client oh sorry for oh, sorry my bad we have to require the thing from discord js then we can do const config is equals to record dot n so now we have our dot n and the discord js thingy and let's just fetch our handler as well let me show you how we are supposed to do that if we do require and then do discord slash command handler we are done so our imports are done we need these three imports for the stuff then we can do const client is equals to new client and we can do this and in options we have to provide the intents because it is important for now we can just provide guilds all right it is pretty simple stuff and now what to do we have to just log in the thing client.login and process.n.token and don't forget to fill this dot n file otherwise this will not work and then let me just delete this now come the handler thingy why bother using this damn handler and by the way don't forget to do this config and run this function thing so why bother using this handler it is really amazing handler well at least according to me so first of all in handler we have to provide the client and then few options these options are the main thing you you need to do this handler can make almost everything automatic as well as manual it depends on you guys so i will start by providing the command folder like where are our commands so it is in dot slash commands like from this file if we want to go to commands we will do dot slash commands all right pretty simple javascript stuff and now comes another thing it is like command type like what kind of type it is to be honest you might be confused by file or folder what the heck is this well to be honest this is stupid of me but who cares so like for example if you have stuff like commands then general and inside this you have file you have commands like ping.js and then you have another folder inside commands called moderation and inside this you have purge.js so for in such conditions you will need to use command type folder but what if that is not the case your commands are like commands and then you have ping.js this condition you will need to do a file instead of folder and then come all slash it is like for converting each and every command to a slash command because slash commands are amazing and beautiful and please if you want you can do auto defer to false it is by default enabled because you know uh, we have to reply the interaction in first three seconds if i'm not wrong and if you fail to do so the interaction will expire and if, if you try to reply later on you will get an error all right so that's why i, I was i used to auto defer or auto reply the thingies but then it is, it is kind of shitty but anyways you can do false for now and then what else do we need to do we need to do handle slash it is like automatically handle the slash commands you can enable it because it is needed for now and as of slash guilds it is like the guilds where you want to test your commands all right so i will just copy paste a guild id real quick you can add any number of ids it just depends on you it is an array and now come run parameters you might ask what the heck is this so for example we have our run command like let me just show you how to define a command you just go to this website in npmjs and you can see these are the properties you can add well not all properties are required well this run function is important and then these name function and stuff is important like let me just copy paste this and paste it and do this we are done guys so now we have our run function now you know, see this command data like normally people have stuff like client comma command and thingies but if you are using a package then they have something of their own like but you 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 can customize this thing that is the main thing you can customize your run package like what will you get in here in run parameter you can have custom run parameters like this if you provide these arrays like for example this array for now this array includes two strings first one is one second one is two this means the, in the, our run parameter we will get client then the guild all right but what will we normally want we will want the client and the interaction so we can just do array of one then four now we will get the stuff now you might ask what the hell will do 12 in, in, you should consider it as 1 and 2 so what will happen is if i pass in 7 then i will get a object all right so now we will get client comma interaction and this thing will be an object will it will be like like for example if i name it x then x is equals to an object which includes user and the member all right that's how the stuff works but we don't really need these two thingies 
and so i will just remove it from here now just do a simple thing interaction dot reply and we will do ping is dollar client dot ws dot ping and of course for documentations you can still do slash start start thingy then you will get documentations for these client thing but we don't really need that because we are pro enough and in event like our command is done now about event like how to get an event for example if i go on index.js and if i do client dot on you can see i get these names like for example ready so if i want a ready event handler i will just go in events and make a file called ready.js and then we have to export a function we will do module.exports is equals to a function and then this functions code and by the way in our function parameters first parameter is the client and remaining parameters are the parameters you will normally get for example in ready function if i add comma now you can see we get these parameters so in ready function we will get the client parameter and equals to the stuff and for example if we use interaction create function interaction so now what you will get is you will get the interaction so in ready.js you can literally do client comma interaction i mean in interaction dot create dot js but for now it is just the client because we don't really care about that and let's just console dot log hi i am alive all right it is pretty simple stuff we are using it for testing whether the thing is working or not oh by the way guys we forgot to do one thing we also have to provide the event folder like we have to provide the location of the event folder it will be dot slash events and by the way you can name it anything you just have to rename it here and then we can do no dot and bang guys get done you will see some cool stuff real quick i mean like it will just log this thing see it logged it now we can check over this code all right guys so i will just go to the server and do so the name of the command is help all right my bad so if i do slash help then we will get a real good reply it is ping is 434 so you can see the thing is working we are getting our replies and if i just do some different command which we didn't add in then uh, let the name be that then we should get an error invalid interaction application command because we never added it and i added it in my past so you know stuff happens but anyways the thing is our simple bot is done you can just add multiple commands multiple events and by the way if you want to ready.js just do ready dot two dot js all right and you can add any number after that dot and that's all and by the way don't forget the, the case like in interaction create the c is supposed to be capital and don't add any dots 